Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here, and welcome back in where we have started from scratch from, um, well, a brand new vacation spot. A brand new vacation spot, and we're trying to, we're going to try and build a farm here. We started with next to nothing. I've got the old Ford behind us, got a trailer, and I've, I've got a bobcat I managed to, to wrangle into the back of that thing. You know what? This seems like a pretty cool little place. We'll see how we make do here. It's not going to be easy, though. I mean, traveling down the road, we pulled in and we found this. Oh, it's like a little fruit stand, a little like garden area. They're just selling all these fresh veggies here at kind of crazy prices. It got me thinking, uh, can we, what can we make out of this? Can I make millions of dollars off this? I mean, if they're going to be selling, what do they got back there? Some berries for extraordinary prices. Like what else we got back here? We got all sorts of craziness back and around this corner here. It just seems like, you know what? We can, we can do better than this guy. Right? We can do better than this guy. We can make more money than, like, we got better products. I, I know more about this than he does, so we can probably... Oh, well, what are you going, bro? Nice, nice sunglasses, dude. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, everything is your, what, farm fresh, artisan, goat cheese, eleven yuppies. Come on. You know what? We can do better than all this, guys. You know what? The truck's parked over there at the grocery mart. I'm sure that's where they're getting all this stuff anyways. I think we can... Yeah, the grocery mart's right across the street. We're going to set up our own stand. Screw these guys. We're going to do it better. We're going to make a mint doing it. So let's go get loaded up in the truck. What? You guys like my truck, eh? You guys all lined up to see my truck. Guys, it's not that nice. It's kind of beat up. I mean, you guys got some money? You want to offer me some cash? I'll sell it to you if, you, if the price is... There's a, there's a price on anything. Believe me. <laughs> no luck. It's probably for the best anyways. But in the back, you guys, I've got a bobcat... We've got just a simple bucket for it. Some other tools that go along with this thing. Nothing special, but between this and the trailer and the truck, I think, well, this should really help us get this farm off the road. I do have a small plot of land. I'm going to take you to it right now. I've got a bit of a drive to go to get out of here, but I think, I think we'll be able to, we'll do well once we get things set up. It's just going to take us a little bit to get up. I got, I got a plan though. Guys, I've got a plan. It's going to be good. Just, we need to get in there, and you know what? I think there's money to be had. This is a little touristy destination. There's lots of money flowing through this town. You know what? It's, it's not your traditional farming land, that's for sure. But there is some farmland that hasn't been used for a while. Just outside of town here. And you know what? There's something else I'm going to need to talk to you guys about, because this town seems to be lacking workers. I, I don't know what it is. They just seem to... They can't find people to work regular day-to-day -day, nine to five jobs so I, I mean i was already approached to sitting back there by by some of the some of the town peeps the operations manager for the town was looking for some people to do some other work around here and i think um i think i may just be the guy to do it because i think i might be the, the most qualified individual to be able to take care of this small little town in some ways and maybe help get us on our feet we don't have this is like I, I really don't have much money to start with here let's be honest trying to start a farm with but really a minimum wage salary um is just not going to do it but i do have land i got some equipment that's not running great but i've got equipment i mean we're shooting 25 miles an hour and i got this thing mad and get down the hill get a little bit of speed up go 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 we'll be fine we'll be fine i'll be fine i just have to get over to the farm here and oh boy she's sliding around a little bit i need some new tires on this old ford as well she's not doesn't like to stay on the road but i digress you know what we do a little bit of work help out the town, and from there, maybe we find a way to get ourselves into that farm fresh market. Oh boy. Huh. Um, I need a push. Guys, somebody, somebody give me a push, please, please. Oh, I need some new tire. We need some new rubber on this whole truck. <laughs> Come on, no. All right, all right, all right. So this here is the turn off into our new farmland area. There's not a lot here. It was, while well, it was a farm, the main house burnt down. There's nothing really here yet. There's an old shop. We got a shop garage building that was there. That's it, guys. I got nothing for storage of crops. I got nothing. Let's just pull through the woods here and I'll show it all to you as we kind of come down this windy road. I mean, that's a great valley down here. Like nice flat lands. You can see his hills off in the far side. There's little towns up and around us. We're a little ways out of town, but there's nothing else here, guys. I really, I mean, I don't even have that many trees on here. It's just an open area. There's no house left. All it is is this garage. So let's get this thing unloaded. I'll show you inside. Well, there's nothing really to show you. It's a, it's a garage, guys. I mean, 
let's just get this thing unloaded first and i'll show you around a little bit there's nothing really to look at though i mean really it's empty everything's taken out i mean this is a nice it's a nice garage but i mean how much can we look at this do you, do you want to see more i can probably open the other door i mean there's nothing else here i've got to build everything i'm starting from next to nothing here guys this is kind of ridiculous let's just move the gob bobcat inside for now and we'll figure out what we're going to do like i said i do need to find a way to build this farm up but i just don't have the money yet i don't have the money to do this stuff yet really with a bobcat and a truck yeah there's some things we can do but really it's this is not exactly suitable for farming is it no it's not so let me just park this inside we'll get this kind of set up i got some equipment we've got a couple different implements for this bobcat you can see we've got a plow in the back we've got a log grabber on the front we've got a bucket up in the truck still i gotta grab off but really the rest of this stuff yeah nothing else really to grab there's a stump grinder as well that we have not a lot of things really realistically i mean there's a few things not a lot of things i'm not gonna be able to hold the whole farm this is something we're gonna have to increase pretty quickly if we want to do anything on this farm leave that right about there yep perfect that, that's fine and then grab the bucket off the back and move that in as well and i think <laughs> that's this is going to be our move in right here guys that's it there's nothing else i need so let's put this all back inside and uh i'm gonna need to uh really dig down here and make some phone calls because you know what it's already late summer guys it's already late summer let's close these doors up we're not in there for now we need to make some phone calls and um look at what our options are going to be going forward like i said there's some work in town like look at this bunch of contracts he's sent over we can we can take care of the roadways and they're they got, they got town equipment i can use even it's gonna diminish the amount of money i can make but still easy money right here guys they've got town equipment i just have to take care of the overpasses and the underpasses all the grasslands they need to be taken care of no one's doing it you know what i know a guy that'll do it i i do i know a guy i i definitely i know a guy all right first contract got a kubota i think it's the uh, the m8 and as well we've got the front deck mower rear deck mower as well just the one side of course so it's not too too big but realistically guys there's not that much grass i need to cut on a lot of these areas here let's just head out we've got the beacons on we've got our four ways on we're gonna be safe we're gonna be safety safety third safety third uh speaking of safety this is gonna be a little interesting some of these have some pretty steep inclines some of these uh these highway freeway off ramps and on ramps yeah there's some some cliff sides here <laughs> you know what don't worry about it. I'm, I'm the safest driver in farm sim we can take this you know what we're good we're good we're good we're just gonna get over close as we can to the cliff side here take all take all this grass down there we go nice and easy don't fall off the edge you know what this isn't too bad because i've got the arm kind of on the outside there we've got a good what six feet minimum that i don't have to worry about it but um i, I do need to clean this this grass all up and uh that's going to be well i don't know if it's going to be an issue but it's not going to be easy it's going to be a little bit of a uh a problem well wait, it'll be it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine just kind of easily get around here easy to just get around down the edge and down we go so question though if safety is third what would be i guess profits number one good times number two and then safety is number three is that how we're we rate the thing i think that's how you know what that's how clutch rates thing let's be honest so um yeah yeah that, that makes perfect sense anyways let's just get down all the way in um hopefully we don't need to be too much on the hillside up there hopefully the con they're they're okay you know what they're gonna come by and take a look at my work and make sure i did enough obviously but uh, I don't want to be up on that hillside. And plus, it's going to damage the equipment, guys. I don't want to damage the equipment, right? Like I said, it's, it's, it's damage the equipment isn't, isn't really a concern too much for me. It's not on my top three lists of things. But it's definitely got to be on there somewhere. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. This is... Yep. This is great. Fantastic. Brutal. No! Get out of the way! I'm so stuck. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's a little more difficult with this large equipment we're using. Wasn't really expecting that. Now, was I? I might have thought about that a little bit more. It's not exactly large, but still, this is not exactly big fields. You know, we got the headland done. We got, we're got we all the way around, so it should be a lot easier. Now, I just got to get everything in the center relatively quickly, right? I mean, just the stuff down here. We've got all the way to the overpass there, and then we go back, and we got a little bit back behind us. 
I mean, I just make sure I get up enough up the hillside. I don't want them uh, questioning my work, of course. I want to make sure it looks all good. Yeah, see, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We just got to clean up all this grass afterwards. So um, I got a little bit more to grab up here, and, and then I think we'll be ready to go and pick the stuff up. Hey, did you guys ever wonder if you could fit your tether in the back of a trailer? Well, yeah, you can. You, <laughs> it's not exactly um, easy, and uh, I, I don't... You know what? It's it's not my equipment. Let's don't tell anybody. But it it fits back there, and it's totally fine. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it to my own equipment. But um, hey, you know what? It works for us right now. We're just gonna park this off on the side, and then I'll pull this out. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about a thing, you guys. We got this all under control. Clutch has got this thing under control. Totally fine. Just, let's open that back trailer on up, and uh, we'll disconnect all our more attachments on this thing. Nope, don't come on. Disconnect. Thank you. There we go, and uh, yeah, the whole three point. There we go, and then we got to do the same to the back. Oh, we'll probably have to lower this. No, we can we can disconnect. Perfect. Good, good, good. All right, let's uh, go grab the tether, and uh, yeah, you might notice there's something else back there as well, but um, you guys don't need to, to worry about that too much yet. We'll show that off a little later on. I mean, we're, we're we're you know what? We're extremely efficient. We are extremely efficient. If I can get that connected, look at that. If we can get that connected again. Um, I'm being extremely efficient with uh, my working abilities right here. So this is where things might get mm, a little bit dicey. Um, I do need to get up snug against the side of the cliff side here. You know, it, like I said, safety third. But at the same time, I'd rather not end up with my roof on the very first job. Just just saying. Let me just go easy around the edge here. Just easy, all right? Hey, you know, it's, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just get up here down to the bottom, uh, get around these pilings. And um, yeah, see, it's... Be nice if I had. Why do I have such a small tether? They got. They have these big mower decks for the this grass, but the the tether and even the rake is um not exactly big. I feel like uh, they could have could have gotten something a little bit bigger. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a little bit easier to use than that big mower deck for certain regions, but that was not easy. Okay, let's just disconnect this bad boy. We'll leave this out here. We're gonna grab the mower deck or the the rake as well. Like I said, it's all it's all equipment from the town. I just they're letting me use it. Um, kind of stuck into the ground. They don't worry about that. It's totally totally normal. Totally normal. Back this thing on up, nice and easy. Just get it right up onto the trailer, and then we should be able to connect uh, to our little rake as well. Like I said, I wish they would have gotten a little bit bigger. It's these the rake, the, the rake and the tether, awfully tiny compared to the size of the mower deck. It's just it's something kind of strange. All right, let's get this thing over there. Come on, come on off the trailer. There we go. Now, once again, same problem as before. Let's not let's not go crazy on the first job or ruin the cliffside. All right, um, this Kubota is pretty pretty brand spanking new, and I, I'd rather not destroy it. All right, turn this bad boy on, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of go up along the side, I guess, for now. How am I going to do this? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go up along the side. We'll we'll, we'll rake this up into one row, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be fine. You could see it, but man, it's there's not a lot of space up here. It's just pretty tiny. All right, up into the edge. Let's try not to to do anything too drastic here. I think I'm gonna need to change something up though. I don't really want. Yeah, if I rake this up down the edge, I feel like I'm gonna cause myself more grief than it's worth here. What do you guys think? You think that's a problem? I think that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just, just figure this out. We're gonna go. If I go back the other way, it'd be way better if we're going kind of going. What, what direction is that? West? If we're going west, it'll be better off. So let me just go this way first. We'll rake this all up. And when we come on the cliff side, we're going to be pushing all the grass, raking all that grass to the west, if that makes any sense. You guys don't know you're east and west from where I'm sitting. I know, I know. Don't worry about it. I, I know where I'm, I know my east and west, and that's to the that's definitely to the west. Definitely, definitely to the west. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. See? Told you this was the best. You know what? Don't worry about it, guys. I got, I got plans. I know what. I know how things work. Got it. Figured it out. So you push it away from the cliff side. Safety third. Perfect. Love it. All right. Let's just uh, keep on working on through this and get her done. Looks all good. Back loaded up onto the truck. Dis disconnect, please. Oh, come on. Come on. Disconnect. There we go. Um. Yeah. That's just a three point. I can't reach my hands in there. Can't get my hands in there. There we go. All right, let's just get this thing out of the way, please. And um, we we need to uh, we just need to bail this all up and collect all this grass. There's, there's, there's maybe a better way if I had my own equipment, but I mean, it is what it is. I've got all this stuff to clean up now as well. You know what? It's okay. 
It's fine. We'll just clean this all up. If this wouldn't have fallen into this ditch, it would be a little bit easier. Let me square this away. There we go. And connect, please. Thank you. That's... That, no, 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 no. You're not connecting. Thank you. There we go. And get that PTO one as well. We can fold all this stuff up, get it back in the truck, and and we'll, we'll, we'll get all this done, and then we'll come bail all this stuff afterwards. The bailer is sitting back at the shop. I got to go pick that up as well. So let's go take care of that. So the bailer of the game is a little bit overkill. We got this big pottinger with the Kubota. It worked fine. It's just, man, I have all things to be overkill on. And then they stick me with these little forks to go grab all the bales with. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it, but it just seems like there's no balance on the equipment they're giving me for this. And then I'm going to load all these bales up into the trailer. Yep, that's perfect. I mean, we've got literally, I don't even know how many bales are on here. We've got enough. Um, yeah, it's, it's more than I was actually expecting for the bales. Let's close the doors on up. But um, hopefully, oh boy, am I, don't tell me I'm stuck. Don't tell me I'm stuck already. I, I'm going to have to go cook up a chain for the Kubota and push this thing out, aren't I? Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. We got a little bit of traction. Just got to get the, those tires up onto the pavement there. Just get out of the grass. Come on, oh, this whole truck, please dig in, please. Please just, you know what, guys, we're making a little bit of headway. Um, as long as they don't come by and see the ruts I'm making right now, it'll be fine. Come on, get out of there. Get up on, please, just a little bit further. We're so close, we're so close. If it gets up, if we could just get a little bit. I need to get some new tires. Definitely need to get some new tires. There we go. I mean, I'm fine. It's fine. We don't need new tires. We're good. I still got a couple more bales to come grab. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these guys. Um, let's not park on the grass this time. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, that's a lot of bales. That looks... Look at that load. That is a nice looking bale load right there. I'm telling you. Let's just get this through town. Hopefully, the truck doesn't get stuck on the way back as we go to drop all these bales off. But, um, hey, not bad. I mean, we're going to make a little bit of money by selling these bales off. We get our contract cash from the town for taking care of the roadway. I mean, all in all, it's a win-win right now, guys. This is a huge win-win. It's going to be some money coming in. Money going... Well, no money going out, really. Come on, get up the hill. Come on, get up there. All right, let's just pull on in and get rid of these bales, shall we? Please, just a decent amount of money, hopefully. We'll see what we get out of this. I'm not expecting a huge payday, but when you're down to like 10 grand, anything helps. Anything at all helps. Nice and easy. And um, let's just get rid of these bales, shall we? Please, just nice and something simple. Let's just disconnect all my straps. There we go. Perfect. A little bit of cash. Not, not bad. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Already making some cash. I love it. Easy. Okay, there's a couple grand for the sale. Uh, yeah, there we go. Like another, what, what five, five thousand bucks ish? Not quite. But for the sale, maybe three, maybe four thousand dollars. I'll take that. And then, of course, we got to complete our contract for another ten. Guys, that's not bad. That's fairly easy money. And there's lots of these contracts going around. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start taking them. You just load them up on the site, go into the field, take the equipment that I need and get to work. All right. So 10, like if I can make, you know, 10 to $15,000 a pop, I mean, yes, I've got a lot of these contracts I'm going to have to do. They're not terribly difficult. They're a little bit time consuming, but this is, you don't have any farmland of your own. I've got no equipment. I wish I could I wish I could borrow their equipment and use that. That'd be even better. But so I can't do that. I can sit down here, you know, once a month, maybe once, I guess, every two months, come out, uh, take care of these roadways. That's a couple hundred thousand dollars. If you think about it, there's there's what, eight? I think there was eight different contracts they had offered there per side. Not bad, you guys. That's an easy way to make some cash and get, uh, get our feet wet here. And... Uh, you know what? We get to test a bunch of different equipment so we can decide what the heck we want to use on our farm. You can see everything's lined up out here already. We got the Vermeer stuff right now. We got a Veltra tractor. Who would have thought we had a Veltra here? Anyways, we got a Veltra. Kind of like the Kubota a little bit better, but hey, personal preference. Personal preference. I'm not here to judge once again. Get here, bail this all up. More Vermeer stuff. This is easy. I love this. This is okay. This is not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world a lot of time and especially when we're spending a lot of the time driving so we're, we're maybe the old trucks getting a little bit of miles on it but it's not too too bad let's just load all these out and uh relatively easy right and then oh yeah we've got, we get to wrap now forgot we got to wrap as well so wrap these guys up here we've got about uh a half to, uh, about a dozen bales here to wrap i believe we had and uh then we'll be done this contract and getting ready to move on to the next one we of course sell off the wrap bales but Man, this is easy. Okay, another contract pretty much done. We got a truck full of marshmallows going to the market. Let's go sell these bad boys off. Easy does it. Easy does it. Once again, same same area to sell from. 
fairly close and uh, just sell these bad boys off. Now, like I said, I, I think this might work out all right. You know, a little bit better than I was expecting. We do have some other contracts that uh, the town has offered for us, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with how well this has worked out already. And I mean, we're already over 30 grand already. Um, not bad considering what we've had to do for this, 34,000 bucks. Let's go take a look at the contract itself. Yeah, look at this, guys. Another 9,000-ish, just, just shy thereof. Easy cash. Like I said, I'm going to keep on doing these bad boys um, until the cows come home, I guess. Maybe this one here is uh, a little bit more difficult. You got tracks on one side. I got roadways on the other. Oh, boy. I got bad feelings about this train track. You know, we just, just, just take her easy. Got to keep our head on a swivel here. Yep, keep your head on a swivel. That was closer than you thought. Oh, man. All right, some of these are a little bit more challenging than the others, especially when it gets down to the nitty-gritty when we're trying to get... You know, the baler's not too bad because it's so tiny, but, like, trying to get the mowers and the rakes and stuff through some of these areas. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, the, the money's good. Every contract's like $10,000 we can make for per contract per month. So it's it's pretty good that way, but man, I'm telling you some of the uh, some of the some of the grasslands up here are a little bit small, and uh, yeah, it's you got to take your time. You've got you got to take your time. It seems like oh yeah, it's only like 0.7 of an acre. This I'll get this done in no time. Yeah, no, that's not how that works at all. It, it's 0.7 of an acre because it's on a freaking cliff between tracks and an overpass, and there's trains going by all the time. Yeah, maybe um. Maybe I should have thought that through. Don't don't you dare. There we go. Just just nice and easy. Just go back on up. Perfect. All right, another trip back to go sell off the bills. Uh, you know what? It's it's working out fairly well. It's relatively easy. Another contract done. I'm going to go do a bunch more of these and we'll see where we go. Look at that. Man, we're almost at 50 grand. Do a couple more. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so you notice our finances are down a little bit. We're still doing contracts. I'm still pounding out these contracts. But yeah, I had to go spend a little bit of money. We had to go spend a little bit of money and start building up our farm. And I'll show you guys what, we're, what we've started with. We're starting relatively modest. And I mean, by relatively, I mean super, super duper modest, to be honest with you guys. But that's what you expect. I mean, we started with nothing. I want to make $10 million on this farm. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm, and we got, we've got this farm fresh artisan. I, I don't even know fair that we can sell stuff at. And I just know we can make some good money at it. But we need to get to the point where our farm is self-sufficient. And right now, just mowing grass isn't going to do that. But that being said, it will give us the finances to get to that point, right? I mean, I don't know what else I could possibly do. Oh, easy, easy. Let's move this back on out. I mean, otherwise, I mean, I, I could be out building fences. I could be out shingling roofs. I, I think I'd rather do these contracts. I could sit the tractor and, you know what? We got some nice equipment in this town. <laughs> Look at this. We got a little fence. We got our mowers. It's, you know what, we're getting pretty good at this as well. And, and now I kind of have a better idea of which contracts work the fastest and pay the best. And so sometimes I might leave some of those ones that um, end up being more of a pain. Just saying, I can leave the ones that are a pain and I can just do the ones that I like to do. And uh, you know what, if I don't make the, the, the full amount I need to make, well, some, or want to make, I guess, then sometimes it's okay. It's not the end of the world. There's some other contracts I'm going to have to look at later on I've been I've been talking about that I haven't shown you guys yet. But this is another way we can make some more money in a little bit. We'll see how this works out. But let me get this through here. We're going to rake this up first. Let's drop that right over here in the corner. Don't be on the road, though. Let's not throw the grass on the road. They don't like that. Let's see if we can just get this so it's nice and lined up. There we go. And we'll go up and around. Like I said, like this one here is arguably one of my the best contracts. This one here is super easy for me to do. It's nice and straight. It does a couple passes and uh, we're done. Like literally... I can get this contract done in probably about 20 minutes ish maybe 15 and uh it's an easy you know another ten thousand dollars i think twelve thousand as this one was anyways easy money and it really doesn't take me that much time to come through here mow it we got to ted it and rake actually rake this one's a rake and then simply uh we're gonna wrap this one afterwards so like really not bad at all for uh, making some quick money out here i'm telling you guys this is this is not a bad deal uh, let's just disconnect this bad boy here yeah. and uh where is it's over there isn't it there's the wrapper yeah yeah we put it over on the other side the baler still does make me laugh though it feels like a little bit of overkill but hey i'm not not complaining might be one of the most expensive round balers you could probably get your hands on but hey whatever it does the job more than enough to be honest with you i guess this town must have a little bit of money in their uh their tax coffers 
because it seems like uh it seems like they got some pretty nice equipment out here for us to use hey i'm not complaining guys i mean look at this little fence here not not too bad what we're using it for i mean i could think of some some other tractors i would have liked to have had but hey this is pretty maneuverable pretty small we've got a big ponder behind us it's all good get through this and uh let's let's get back on the other side like i said two passes here is pretty much all i need and we're just pumping out these bales and we're gonna come back we'll grab that wrapper right in a second but uh yeah one one down one back like i said this is my favorite contract to come do because now we just got to wrap these things and uh that's it for the for these bales it just takes the wrapping takes a little bit of time i personally would rather just do you know what i'd rather ted and get some hay rather than the wrap but sometimes they want us to wrap the bales I guess the, the town is conscious about either having silage or hay. Anyways, I'm not here. I'm just here to do what I'm told, I guess, right? Put that bad boy on up. Once again, back down on the one side, bring it back. If this one was a hay contract, it'd actually be relatively way quicker, to be honest with you. But it, this one's silage today. Maybe next year or next month, it'll be hay. Who knows? It, it does tend to switch up, I guess. So it is what it is. Now, I just wish they would invest in a bale trailer. I mean, I know it's not a lot of bales, but they've they've got the nicest baler probably. And now I'm just stuck out here with these bale fork loaders that, uh, well, they're not the worst, but they're they're definitely not the best thing in the world. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it does work. It, they definitely work, but it'd be ten times easier if we just had a bale trailer. Come on, guys, just get us a bale trailer, please, 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 please. That's all. I, I'm I'm not asking for much. Not not asking for much. Just a bale trailer, please. Like four bales at a time. I mean, yeah, I only have, I think I got nine out here, but still four bales at a time. I could have these all done in one pass. You'd be saving me some time, which would, we might be able to save a little bit on, you know, the finance side when you pay me, if you bought a decent bale trailer, I'm just saying, load these guys up, just give them a shove up into the trailer. Yeah, yeah, just up in the front. Yep, 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 totally fine. We've got, guys, look at all these bales. What do you expect, all right? I gotta push these up somehow. They got to go in the trailer and then we can we can go then all into the trailer in one load this time that doesn't usually happen actually i think this is the first time i managed to fit them all without putting it onto the flat deck of the truck all right let's go sell these bad boys off that's another contract in the books already guys i'm making money hand over fist here that's great now i still need to show you i know i promised i'd show you that i'd show you what we were spending our money on i promise I'm, i haven't forgot about you it's coming we'll just sell these bales off first and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's just finish off this contract. But I've got a plan. It's starting to come together already. I mean, we're just we're just getting started and things are starting to work out. Lots of money coming in. All right, guys. So I told you I spent my money. I spent all my money. And it's not on old Bessie behind me here. Um, we, we bought some new toys. And of course, I needed I needed a place to crash. I needed a house, finally. So, well, you, you saw the bank account. We were a little... We we're low on funds. I took care of that. So we're starting back here. I mean, first things first, guys. I I needed I needed something to sleep in. I needed a place to crash. And I mean, we did, we had a couple hundred thousand bucks. I used about fifty five thousand plus a little bit to build um to build something that I could sleep in. It's more than just that though. There's just there's a lot more to it. It's not just you know just not the crash pad. I needed more than that. And so we've got a shop built into our brand spanking new house. I wouldn't know if I'd call it a house, but hey, it's, you know, it's, it ain't bad. It's, uh, it, I've certainly slept in a lot worse. Let's put it that way. I mean, look at this place. We've got a little, little awning on the side here. We can park some equipment here and it's protected. But the, I mean, the big thing is, of course, we open this door and look at this. We get storage inside for, well, when we eventually get some really nice equipment, I mean, we've got a little workshop back here. We've got storage for, you know, some goods. But upstairs, this is where the magic happens. Yeah, there's not much of a bed. I know, I'm, I'm kind of crashing on the couch here. But hey, what do you do? Got our little escape out the back here. We've got our door up the back. But yeah, not bad. And of course, the outhouse is just outside here. Isn't that what you guys have? An outhouse outside? Or sink by the back, too, to wash your hands? Yep, that's me. That's what we're doing now. Now, on top of all that, I had to buy something else as well. Let's just open this up, and there she is. Yeah, we got a brand new International uh, 1455 as well. Well, brand new to us. I mean, obviously not new to you. I mean, you guys get it. It's it's always oh, used. So this was only, I got this thing, it was just under 10,000. So not bad, a good shape. We've got an old tractor now. We've got a place to store stuff. And then, of course, to top this all off, I needed some equipment, and we got our own hand equipment now. I finally got some hand equipment. You guys know I love doing hand 
We got our new New Holland uh, pull behind Swather. Of course, we got a Case Baylor. We got our, our Vermeer and Pottinger uh, Rake and Tedder. Yeah, Tedder and Rake. You know what I mean. Everything's good to go. We're ready to go. I think we can clean some stuff up here. I've got one field. I'm thinking just off to the side here, guys. If I, if I just have to think about this for a sec. I think there's one field I can get to hand right away. Oh, that looked way cleaner. Look how good I made this thing look. That's way better. No, seriously, let's go grab the case. We're going to hook this up, and I think we can get into this field like right away here. Let's fire this thing on up and get out of here. Ooh, this thing's nice. I like this. All right, the old open cab. Uh, let's get in here and clean this, this one field. I, I really see if we can maybe expand this field at some point. But for now, this is going to do just fine for now. But I just, I think this is, it's going to start. We'll see what we can make from one field. We'll do one, well, we'll, we'll bail this once and then we'll go from there. That's going to be the plan. Connect this bad boy on up. Um, we want to make sure everything runs how it was expected, of course. As long as this all works together nicely with this tractor, I mean, I kind of mix mashed everything together, what we got for sale. And uh, it's worked out fairly well. I mean, relatively inexpensive is in the grand scheme of things to be able to get a hang setup done. We'll see how this works out in the long run. I don't know if this is going to be our plan going forward, but for now, we're going to make some money by hay in this field. And, and it's not huge, though. I'm really worried that we're not going to have enough here, guys. I really don't think we're going to be anywhere close to enough. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of this field. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is only not even, like, what is this, like three acres? Maybe? Maybe two? There's not a lot here. Um, hmm. I, I, I might have... I might have overestimated what I thought I could get from this. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. A couple more passes left to go. <laughs> we got lots of good lines on here. Lots of lots of good looking grass, but uh, we got to we start to Ted and we got to rake this and then bail it. So we still got a lot of work to do. First part done. Let's go drop the uh, swather off here. We'll go pick up the we'll go pick up the uh, the tether quickly after this. See if I can just put this uh, over in the shop here so we can give it a quick clean up in a sec. Nice and easy. Back her in. Nice and nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. Just don't hit the truck. Just don't want to dead. Don't want to don't damage the the body panels on that thing. Watch the paint clutch. All right, let's just drop that red right boot there. Disconnect everything. Looks good. And um, yeah. All right, perfect. Let's go grab the tether there, and uh, we'll clean up this thing. The rest of this field. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it'll work. It's fine. We got a decent sized tether. I'm I'm a little concerned about the rake. The rake looks smaller than I was anticipating. I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. The tether, like this, the tether, this is fine. We'll, we're going to clean up this grass, but re-rake it again. It feels like that rake's awfully small. Well, yeah, it'll be fine, but it's just a little more work. That's all. I was hoping, um, maybe that's something I, I think about upgrading sooner than later. Might be something sooner or later, guys. And now it's time for that itty bitty rake. Like I said, this thing is, well, she's tiny. Uh, it's a third the size of the, uh, the, the tether even. Oh, well. It's going to take me a few passes to get through this field. I mean, by a few, I mean a lot. <laughs> it's just swinging back there, too. It doesn't stay put. What? Oh, come on. Just no, 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 no. Don't, don't swing like that. That's really annoying. I'm not... Why is it doing that? It's just swinging everywhere. Yeah, that's super annoying. I Nothing I can do about that either, guys. I'm stuck with what I got on this. Huh. Um, What do you do? I guess I just... I don't know, carry on, I guess. Okay, even with all the swinging back and forth, it did a decent job. It's not the, it's definitely not the best and not the cleanest lines I've ever made, but it could be worse. All right, let's hook the case up uh, to the International and uh, let's go see if we can bail this. This all up, guys. A little bit of, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of bail work. These are not exactly the, the biggest lines, of course. The uh, the windrows are pretty, pretty minor. <laughs> They're pretty small. Uh, need a bigger rig. Oh, well, maybe, maybe soon, maybe next time. But for now, this is going to work just fine. Everything seems to be working out okay. I'm, I'm actually relatively okay with this. The only thing I've still got to think about, guys, is how I'm going to load this up afterwards. Now, I do have a plan, of course. I've got I've got options. I've got a truck and I've got a trailer. So that's... I'm going to have to move bales. I've got a truck. I've got a trailer. I've got a bobcat, which I'm going to have to use to load these bad boys up with. No one said it was going to be easy. I think that might be the hardest part, to be perfectly... Blunt and honest, we're going to find out in a little bit, that's for sure. All right, so this could be the interesting part for me, at least. we got the little bobcat. It's got a little bit of weight in the back. And then we've got these bale grabbers up front. Yeah, they're more for silage bales, but this is what we've got, all right? I don't have bale spikes for this. It is what it is. I'd like to get, like, one, like, just a bale, one spike. Just so I can take one of these round bales at a time. It's fine. I'm sure this will work fine out in the field. 
Yeah, it definitely is. The little lawnmower engine in this thing is a little, it's a little slow. Oh well. Um, let me just grab this and go. We'll take it back and throw in the trailer. All right, first bale is in. Let's go grab another one. Yep, that'll do right about there. Let's pick you up. I definitely notice when I get into the field with these tracks, it's um, it's it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle. The little bobcat, uh, she don't like it too much being out here in the field. She likes the dirt and the concrete a lot better. Oh well, get up on the trailer here, and we'll just drop this in beside and get it kind of in beside that first bale. That'd be perfect. Kind of, uh, that'll do. Like, yeah, close enough, right? That'll do. Okay, guys, this little bobcat's it's struggling out here in the field. I've I've made a little uh, just a just a minor change, a little bit of an audible, if you will. I pulled a bit of an audible over here, and we moved the whole truck and trailer into the field. I might regret that as well, but you never know. We should be able to get it out. It came in here. It's a little soggy out here. Like. See what I mean? Kind of slipping around. But I think it'll be fine. I just, once again, as long as I can get up into this trailer with a little bit of finesse, I'm good. And then I just have to drop it back into place. And uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. There you go. See? Best driver in farm sim. <laughs> Crap, might have talked a little bit uh, too soon there. <laughs> Darn it, Marty's stuck. Stupid grass piles. Come on, get off. Get. Oh, I'm so stuck already. Brutal. Yeah, yeah, things are going great. Things are going great. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I just had to push it with the International. Get the uh, the tractor out there and push everything back out of the field. It was fine. It was totally fine. Uh, don't maybe bring the truck into the field next time. Look at all this trash out here. The trash everywhere out here. That's strange. To clean all this up at some point. Oh, I think I might have hit something. Oh, yeah, got some boards. If there's no nails in that, please. Uh, dirty old mattresses. That's great. Anyways, we're going to go sell these bales off. We'll see what we get. I don't have a lot here, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I oh guys, I'm really worried. I don't think I'm going to make much money off this at all. Like, really, how much money can I possibly make off this? Let's sell all these off and take a little look-see, shall we? Get rid of the bales. Yep. So, uh, what is that? $8,000? Eight grand. Made eight, eight grand. Huh. So, it's like a little less than even the contract work we're doing right now. So... Contract work takes me about half an hour for most of those fields, or I can do all that work. What is going on with all the... Get out of the way. Get... Look at this guy. Why are you... What are you guys doing? What? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. What they're... What's going on here? They're crossing the road. They turn around and go right... All right, you guys just stay off the road. Anyways, might be the... might be worthwhile not to do this. I, I don't know. I think I've got to come up with a different plan. That's just not going to work, guys. I'm serious. Like... Nine grand, eight grand. I can do that twice, three times a year, maybe. We got the contracts we can do. Hmm, it's going to be tough for us to get better equipment doing this right now. I think I've got to stick with the contracts. I can make way more doing those contracts. I mean, we made almost $200,000. We did make $200,000 doing contracts. And that was just for one month. Oh, well. Let's lock this up. Go get some shot eye. And we'll figure out next month what to do, all right? All right, guys. So we are into the fall Let's, uh, let's figure out what our plan of attack is. I think we got to take care of that field by a little bit of fertilizing first. So we've got a little fertilizer spreader, but we need fertilizer for it. So let's load up the Bobcat. We'll go take this over to the shop. We've got our pallet forks on there. We'll load the back of the trailer. And then, uh, yeah, we're off to the shop. That should be perfectly fine. Ooh, oh, oops. Yeah, perfectly fine. It'll be, it'll, yeah, let's try the second try. There we go. Let's just get, there we go. That's better. And now we just pick up our fertilizer we ordered from the shop and put it in the back of the, uh, the trailer. Not a problem there. Got, uh, what, five, a few pallets of that. We got some lime. Just enough to, you know, really make sure that these fields, we got to maximize what we're getting out of these fields, guys. They have to be in tip-top shape. Don't crash into the truck every single time, please. <laughs> all right, we get those. We'll take the lime as well. Put these in the back. I think uh, we got space for all these pallets. Shouldn't be a problem. Easy, easy. Just take two at a time. See? Oh, yeah. See, that looks great. Perfect. All right, let's go put this in the back of the truck now. Easy, easy. The weight is actually not too bad. This little bobcat is uh, able to hold things fairly decently. But um, looks like I've busted one of the lime bags. Whoopsies. <laughs> I guess I might have stuck my fork into one of them. Don't do that, guys. Oh, yeah, that's what a mess. What a freaking mess. Oh, great. So, guys, I'm just uh, grabbing everything off the truck now and storing it inside the shop with me. I, yeah, fertilizer and lime, storing them in the house with you. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. It's probably not the best 
But really, it's only it's, it's solid fertilizer. So it's lime. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like it's chemical, liquid chemicals, or anything like that. It's off gassing. Don't worry about it. It's just a nice, convenient place for me to store all this stuff. Is the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> now let's see if I can get some of this lime out of the uh, the back of the truck, I guess, as well. All that broken lime that we busted back there. Whoops. Um, what a mess. What a complete and utter mess. Let me just dump this thing all out. There we go. That's uh, a little pile of lime. Don't be stuck. Please don't be stuck. Please don't. Is it really stuck on there? You know what? Whatever. We'll just grab... See, it's fine. We'll just grab the bobcat and grab underneath. Gets stuck pretty easily, doesn't it? I know. And then simply, let's just dump this right on in here and uh, we'll go into this field and throw some lime out. Yeah, just line it up. Yeah, there you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yep, there we go. See? Easy. One bucket, almost one uh, one spreader full. We'll just grab a little bit more while we're at it. We'll just we'll throw a couple more bags into this. And uh, yeah, I think we should be good. All right, let's go to the field and do a little bit of work. Okay, so let's have a little talk about what my expectations are out of this field because, well, actually, hang on a sec here. We've got to connect all this up. Just get that PTO wiring done. There we go. So even if like doing lime on this, get the field values right up to their, their, the, the best possible field values. We lime, we fertilize, we pull all the weeds. We're still not going to do that well. I mean, even if we double, if we double the amount of bales we got off from the last time, guys, let's think about how much we're going to make then. Like, really, it was what, 8,000? Okay, say 9,000. Even if we made 9,000 last time. So 18 grand is what we're going to make off this field, what, twice? Maybe three times a year? That's not going to pay the bills, I don't think. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, this thing's all stuck out there. Okay, we're good. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not a mathematician, I'm not a rocket scientist here, but I'm thinking that the, the little bit of money we're going to make off this is just really, I don't know what it's going to do for us. I don't think it's going to be enough to really get us through year over year, and it's definitely not going to do what I want it to do. I don't. It's not going to make us a millionaire out here, let's put it that way. Uh, we need to come up with some other product to to really to tap into the farmer's market. We gotta get into that farmer's market and that's really, I think, where we're gonna, we could make some serious, uh, some serious cheddar. Ooh, I could make cheddar. Can we make cheddar? That might be a thing. No, I don't wanna make cheddar. That sounds like a lot of work. I was hoping bales, because I love baking bales, but I don't think bales are gonna be it, guys. I think, I think the bale market, we might have to bail on the bale market. Just saying. All right, guys, well, winter or, well, early, late fall, I guess, late fall is here. I guess winter's not technically December, but anyways, late fall has come here. It's getting too cold to do, well, anything productive. Unfortunately, none of our contracts are available anymore. There's no contracts by the town. I can't do any of that. There's not going to be any more hay in this year. I'm, I'm really stuck a little bit here. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping that I could really just focus on something to find ways of starting to it'd be a little bit of work to make some money, but I'd still be making some money if you get what I'm saying. I mean, look at this farm. We're getting there. It's, it's a a little bit of a farm. It's a small farm. It's something, but I've got an idea. I got something that's going to help make us a little bit of a little bit of cash, and it involves wood. And getting rid of the wood is really what it is. Yeah, we're getting rid of. We're logging. We're the guys. We're logging. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Anyways, knock these trees down. I don't know what kind of money we're going to get off this stuff. There is a mill pretty close by. We got the old trusty chainsaw, and of course, I got the bobcat out doing some more work again. It's not exactly quick and it's not exactly easy but it's money i think so that's where we're going with this i'm gonna it's this is gonna pay some bills off this is gonna pay some of our bills i mean i'm hurting for cash right now uh, the more i the more i look at my bank account the less i like it to be honest but you know what we've got all the equipment i need i got a chainsaw of course i've got everything i need in order to to, to kind of get stuff done i got this trailer we got the bobcat i can get rid of all the logs on the property i own down here i have bought a little bit more property that's bigger than just the field that we we harvested, that grass field. I own a little bit more around it now, but it's useless field. So let's knock this wood down, take it all, sell the wood, get the profit from the wood, and then maybe I can make this field bigger is kind of what I'm thinking. That might be something we can do. If I can pick up all these, all these, these logs, this is going to be... Guys, the struggle's real, okay? This is going to be a lot... This is not going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of work. One branch at a time. Or maybe not one branch. Yeah, that's going to be a couple. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there's a lot of wood here. I wonder how much I can fit into this. Like, is this going to be worthwhile? I, I, I mean, logging typically, whenever I've done any logging, I always find that the money is definitely worth the effort you put into it. 
It's just, this is... Well, this is a little bit um, frustrating, a little bit. I'm, I'm saying there's not great trees here to begin with, and I'm just kind of grab whatever I can and stuffing it in this trailer. I really hope this is worthwhile, because we do have a few more trees I can grab here. And uh, I want to grab as... I need to clean them off anyway, so I, at least I hope it's worth my time. That's all. And while we're at this, I do need to go get rid of the stumps as well before I forget. Grab the grinder, hook that all up, and uh, let's go back out. Now, definitely make sure... Oops, there's the connection over there. I, I thought it was on the other side. I couldn't see it. It doesn't make sense, because the hydraulics are on this side, regardless of which. Make sure um, you go and do this early, because... You know what? If I don't do this right away, I forget where the heck the stumps are, and... <laughs> man, nothing worse than uh, planting your field and finding your stumps while you're in the middle of planting. Ask me how I know. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, we're going to go through. we got a bunch of these stumps. I probably have... Oh, uh, we'll have at least a, a dozen or so on this side of the field once we get through. I think I've only got four, four of the trees down right now. Four trees, maybe five. I've got a few more to grab. Uh, we'll just put all the tools on this side so that I can grab them and, and easily get in here and, and do this, uh, this dirty work when I have to. All right, guys, let's go see what we can get for our first load of lumber. Go we'll take this to the mill and sell us on. You know what? I'm, I've got high hopes. Once again, I'm a bit of an optimist when it comes to selling our stuff, of course. You guys know how it is. It's just how I am. I mean, I think we're going to make a good amount of money. Usually we don't, but you never know. Maybe this is the this is the time it's going to change. I got our four ways on. This road's a little bit tight. Let's get out here. We got to open. No one to open the gate for us here, eh? Huh. Anyways, I'll open the gate up myself. Fine. You know what? I don't mind getting my hands dirty. It's okay. You guys leave the gate open at least for me. Let's go pull this thing on in and we'll go sell off, sell off the wood. Please give me some good money. Oh, pretty please. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Like, let's let's go. Let's get some cash. All right. Uh, 5,000 bucks. A little over. No, a little less. $5,000. Um, well, how do we feel about that? Let me think about that for a second. I mean, it's... Uh, you know, it's half as much as we got from doing all that farming. So there is that. I got a lot more trees to go grab and we'll get, you know, at least $5,000 per tree or per, per load now, I guess, is what I'm going to average. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be okay. It's, I mean, that was, what, two trees we had loaded in there and I've got two more still down. I got to load up there. They're not as big, but this one's a big one we just cut. So, hey, maybe, maybe we can make, maybe we can make a profit at this. It's, I mean, it's not... We're not going to become millionaires with logging on the amount of trees we have here, but you know what? We might be able to get ourselves into a position for next year to be ready to rock and roll. We'll see. And if anything, well, you know what it is doing? It's really giving me a, a, a very high appreciation for bailing again. Yep. Definitely, uh, I'd rather be bailing. I think I need like a, I need a bumper sticker that says that, I think, to put on my... Anything that's wood harvesting. Maybe my, my chainsaw. I'd rather be... I'd rather be bailing. All right, so we've got a little bit of a better load this time. I stacked this a little bit better, but most of it's because of that uh, one big tree. That one that one massive pine tree, I managed to grab quite a bit from that. Let's see what we get this time. Uh, let's see, please, please give me some decent money. I just put that a tap. That's a, that's a little bit better, but I mean, it's still six grand versus five. It was an extra thousand bucks. I guess that's bigger than a kick in the rear end, but it's still not making us too, too much money. At least we're not in the hole anymore, right? At least we're no longer in the hole. So we've been driving past this pile of garbage by my farm every time. You know what? I think it's time I I did something with this. Let's get rid of this. Let's see if we can we recycle this. Get get rid of it. I just want I don't want it here anymore. I'm sick of looking at this. Pull it beside this. I'm just gonna throw everything in the back of the trailer. We're gonna get rid of it right now. I mean, I'm not really in a rush to do any logging. Like I said, it's September still. We're, I mean, it's still kind of chilly. There's not much we can do. We can make fields, but I'm better off if I think if I just clean stuff up for now, right? It's cleaning time. And this will clear my head a little bit <laughs> from, well, what we're doing. I, I don't know if this is clearing my head from logging or not. Let's move these tires up inside here. There we go. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to stack these like side by side by side. I think that's going to have to happen. I'll just grab you and if I put them like, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. No, no, no. Let's just stick this all the way in. Get all the way back in there, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let's grab that old dirty mattress here. Um, I'm going to stick this up on up on the cab. We'll make a little bit of space up on the front of the cab and get rid of it up there. Yeah, let's put it up here. That, that'll work fine. Just kind of tilt it up sideways. I think there's another one over there I have to stack beside it. So I'm not going to be able to see anything. But hey, who cares? It's all right. It'll work. Just grab that one too and do the same thing with it, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. Grab the rest of these barrels. We still got lots of stuff to fit in here, guys. I got I to gotta make some room. All right, let's strap everything down. Get these mattresses. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but 
Uh, you know what? They're going to bend backwards anyways once we get any kind of speed, right? I think they're kind of strapped. Barrels are strapped. The barrels are going to hold it in place. It's all physics, guys. Don't worry. And then we got this whole thing just rammed with garbage. Perfect. All right, let's go head up to the um, garbage slash recycling center and, and get rid of all this stuff. It, 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 it's out of my hair. It cleans up our farm, makes it look better. And that's, uh, you know what? It's a little, it's a job we could do at this time of year, right? All right, let's go through town. It's, we got to go right through town for this too, which is hopefully no one sees us. <laughs> yeah, kind of tough not to get noticed here, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Dirty mattresses and all. All right, up the hill we go. This is a bit of a tight corner to get around. Easy, easy. Good thing there's nothing on the inside there. All right, up the hill we go. Up to the uh, the old garbage dump recycling center. I don't even think I lost anything on the load up here, guys. I think I was, you know, nice and smooth and hit the curves through town. So, yeah, we're good. We'll just kind of go through the gate here and uh, let's go unload all this. Looks like up on top around the back side. I believe we can dump this all out up here somewhere. Oh, this is going to be a tight corner. Just take her nice and easy. The old Ford can make her up and around. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh don't mind it. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. That doesn't count. <laughs> we made it up. Doesn't matter. Nothing fell out, right? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, we got to back up to this red bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to back up to the red bin right there. And this is all going into that, that red bin. Now, I think this qualifies as recycling. We can move this all. Don't ask me how, but this is all qualifying as recycling. Now, we may actually get a payday from this, is what I've been told now. I, I don't know if this is going to work out for us. I really hope it does, because I could use the cash, Ola. But uh, let's just open this up. And we'll just empty everything in there, and we'll see what we get. There we go. Easy. Open those doors up. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, dump this out. <laughs> oh, boy. Perfect. Um, darn it. I wish I was hoping everything would just kind of fall out. I guess uh, it's asking for a bit much, isn't it? Oh, well, whatever. We'll get out. Let's uh, throw up this, this bin here. We'll start with this one. We'll just grab one of these. Grab you. Get rid of the straps. And, oh, jump on the railing and toss it in. Toss or toss. Nice. Um, all the rest of them can go in there as well. Let's see. Just grab those. In you go. Oh, boy. There's so much. Oh, man. There's a lot of garbage in here, you guys. <laughs> we got a lot of trash. Look at all the trash we got. Yeah. I wonder what, like, if we get money for this, what kind of rate does the recycling go for? It feels like I got enough junk in here. Um, let's see if I can get those tires. The tires I'm kind of worried about. If I pull all these, these, these out of the way, are these tires going to roll on me? Um... Uh, yeah, 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 easy, easy, easy. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. That was close. That was closer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right, a couple more things. Toss in the front, and uh, there we go. Toss this last last, last one in for now. And oh, yeah, we got, we've got we've got mattresses as well, but I'll grab those right here now. Let's see if I can fit them. I don't think they're going to fit in there right now. All right, so let's see what we're getting paid. Yeah, 43 bucks for a plank of wood. Hey, not, not bad. Could be worse, could be better. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's not like we're making money out of our fist. Barrels, 131 bucks for the barrels. Um, the mattresses were a bit of a pain, but we made a couple thousand bucks still. Was it two grand? I think a little over $23,000 for, for a bunch of garbage that was just left over. All right, guys. So I have got a brand spanking new plan right now. I got a brand new plan. I got a, it's going to be, okay. So I don't know if it's going to be great. I think it's, I think this one might be the plan. Now, I need to save up about $140,000 to $150,000-ish. We'll see how we make do. I need to make $140,000, dollars $150,000. And, well, we have ways of doing that. I mean, we can get out in the field here, and we can knock some trees down still. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be quick. Let's be honest here. I might have to go through a year, get some money, do some more contract work. You know what? The town's got work we can do, but these trees will make us a little bit of cash, right? We can probably get up to fifty grand with the, just the trees here if I keep on working these guys. Look at this. Look at the wood here. I could, I, I, I kind of stacked this a little bit more than I should have. <laughs> See, 11,000 bucks. Uh, it just took a little bit more finessing, that's all. But guys, on top of the wood, I found another interesting little contract that I can do. They need, they need garbage picked up. They need garbage picked up around town and that's going to hopefully make us a little bit of cash. So we're just going to... um. We're going to do that. Let's just see if we can get rid of, you know, go knock on doors. Let them know we're here to pick up all their garbage. Yeah, see the recycling's here. They got their trash. They got their food waste. And, uh, yeah, I should be able to go and just get rid of this for people. And now that we know where the garbage depot is, I can make a little bit of money with this as well. Just toss all these garbage bags, all these pallets of food waste. 
Guys, this is another way we can make some money in the winter. I never even thought about this. This is fantastic. All right, we're just going to go through town here. And uh, we're, you know what? They've got no one doing work around this place, apparently. I mean, I'm cut, I'm, I'm mowing down the, the intersection highway grass, as well as now I'm taking the garbage out for everybody. Listen, I'm not one to complain about doing a little bit extra work for people here, especially if they're going to pay, right? Really, if they're going to pay for me to do this, just throw some garbage in the back of my truck. I've got the equipment for it. So what do I care? Food waste. Let's go. Next house. You pitter patter. Um, anything else down over here? I think we got to go into town. I think this is, yeah, yeah. We're going to town now. Heading to town. Oh boy, there's lots of houses here. And there's quite a few that are, um, yeah, lots of garbage. Like, look at all the garbage we got here. This is awesome. Okay. We'll see. I will don't drop. I don't have a clue how much they're going to pay us for this little job. I kind of took this just as, you know what, someone looking for work. I have no idea. I, I'm, I'm on good faith with everyone here. It's like I said, I'm trying to move my stature up in town here. So I'm just in good faith helping out where I can. I mean, look at the garbage here. It's everywhere. Yeah, they got lots, lots of trash bags. Let's get rid of these guys. Thank you. Take you as well. Easy work, though. This is perfect. Can I, if I make, I should have been doing this from the store. I should have put the pallets up on the front because I don't think they're going to the same place. But regardless, if I can make a little bit extra cash doing this as well, like, is this going to pay as well as is the lawn maintenance? Because the lawn maintenance pays pretty well. But if this pays anything close to that, man, that's, this is easy work. Really. Just driving around, throwing stuff in my truck. I, I mean, I could do this for, for days, literally for days. This is awesome. We got quite a few loads in here already, don't I? Yep. All right. All right, guys, we are full. I think at least we've gotten all the garbage I can find around town. Uh, I've kind of sorted things a little bit better, put the bags in the back. We got the recyclings up front. Let's go take this up here to the, uh, the recycling depot. See if we can make a little bit of extra cash. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile or not, but whatever. It's extra money when I'm... I'm not... I don't have a ton of money. We sold all our wood off, of course, that so we've been selling. So it's made us a decent amount. I still have a little bit more I can get rid of, but this could be beneficial, right? Let's toss all our food waste into the, uh, I don't know, the recycler here. I don't know, this couple couple hundred bucks every time. It's, it's not a lot. Um, I mean, it's it's money, I suppose, but yeah, yeah I, was, I was hoping for more. I'm, I'm, I would be lying if I didn't say that. Yeah, like 164 bucks for one of them. That was all right. That's, that's okay, but like 27 bucks. Ouch. That seems, uh, I mean, really, realistically, I guess 20 bucks for me to drive this stuff up here. That ain't bad. I mean, not great, but not bad. Uh, the garbage, I don't think is going to be that much better, to be honest with you. We'll throw this in here. Same place we brought the last stuff to, and I have a funny feeling eh, we should expect about the same as far as profits go. So, yeah, if I can make a couple grand here, yeah, I guess that's what I got to be lucky with. But like I said, we're, we're kind of starving artists in a way right now, guys. I got to take money where I can get it. And this is actually not a bad way. It's, I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing this full time if I can avoid it. Uh, I, like I said, I want to move into pushing their farm to get to our, our, you know, our farm fresh table stuff going on. Yeah, get to that farmer's market. That's where I want to be. But if I can make a little bit of cash, well, we've got like two, it was like a $1,500 payday between both. Okay, that's better than nothing once again. Not, not great, not bad, but I still think that yeah, I still think that uh, doing some mowing work for the town, guys, I think this is where it's going to be at. Let's be honest. This is this is the easy money. Now, this one here is actually kind of one of the more difficult contracts. It was the only one I had left to do, but it's down here um, at the pond park. And, well, there's not a lot of space to maneuver, to say the least. Uh, I mean, we've got a nice Kubota. We've got a nice, very nice Kubota to ride in, at least, and do a little bit of mowing, but I'm not even using the pull-behind swather. I just have the front end here because there's just no room. Like, literally, no room to do any work on this little this little grass pad here. It's still... It's, there's still a lot of grass to get taken up here, but, I mean, we got the pond on the side of us. we got fences all around. We have, like, a playground and stuff or some benches down there. And they, to top it all off, they want us to wrap them. We're wrapping bales. I mean, I guess it's better than trying to TED stuff. Anyways, let's go sell all these off or get rid of all these bales. We get a little extra profit from that. But, uh, huh. Yeah, it is it's it is what it is. In we go. Let's go sell these guys off here, shall we? So this should do us for a little bit, guys. We're going to have a decent amount of money after this contract. Um, it's another $10,000 plus whatever we get from the bales here. So we're probably going to be out 50 grand before the bales. Plus another 10. We're close to 60. 
you know what? I'm going to go do some woodwork uh, back at the farm as well. We're going to get ready. I might do a few more contracts, but we'll see where we go. I have, I think we're on the right path here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit once we uh, kind of figure out if we're close to our goal. Guys, mission accomplished. We did 200,000-ish, just a little bit over, to be perfectly honest. And uh, give some, I got to show you what I bought. I bought something that's going to... It's plan... Are we on plan C yet? I think we're on plan C. Not the truck, but this. This is what I'm talking about. Guys, we're going to be... Uh, we're going a little bit crazy with chickens. We're going nuts with the chickens. So many chickens. But my farm? This has got a problem. I don't have a way to fill this yet. Let me show you inside quickly while we're at it, though. Uh, you know, we got these doors. You got a little staging area in here where we're going to have our eggs come. You know what? When then inside here is where the nuggies are. We got the chicken nuggies in here. We got the eggs out there. It's pretty good. I think, I mean, this can hold a lot of chickens. Like 5,000 a lot. Let's turn the lights all on. We can lift up the, uh, I don't know what we call this. Is it feeding? The feeding troughs? The feeding, I don't know what they're called. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I just got to feed them. That's all that matters to me. So... This is what we're going to be doing from now on. Um, I'm going to stick a bunch of chickens in here, but I've only got $41,000 right now. Some problems. Now, after I've gone and purchased food and about a thousand chickens, guys, I'm broke. I am... <laughs> the problems are getting worse. So, um, yeah, chicken feed. Yep, that's going to be an issue. I don't even have enough money to fill this. I thought I was going to have enough money to at least fill this trailer full of chicken feed. Yeah, guess what? I didn't. So... I've gone ahead, I've bought a thousand chickens to get us started. And then from there, hopefully we could just like reproduce. This will hold, I think we'll hold 5,000 chickens in here is what I'm guesstimating. I think we can stick 5,000 in, in this thing. So I don't know how much feed we're going to need for that, but it's going to be an awful lot. Let me just back the feed in here. We'll fill this up. Hopefully this will last like the winter. <laughs> can I get the, can I get this to last the winter? Otherwise I'm going to have to go pick up some more garbage or something because... I'm in trouble here. We'll open this on up. And um, fingers crossed. Think fingers crossed that this is enough. Please be enough to last for a little while at least. Drop it all in. And we'll go check out and see how uh, see how it's looking in the inside with all our, our new thousand chickens we got. Thousand chickens. This is um this seems like a lot to me. I don't know. See, we got a thousand. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get the health up. They got four thousand liters of food, so it should be enough uh, enough food for the time being. I'll open this bad boy on up. See, look at look at them all in there. See, they look they're like they're happy now. They just got to keep it warm in here, and um, yeah, they'll start they'll start making some eggs for us soon enough, right? So we'll see, guys. I don't know. Can we make can we make ten million bucks on eggs? Uh, maybe not just eggs. Maybe chickens as well. We could double up, right? Yeah. So I think I need to make some more money, and to do that, the only thing I really have right now is hay, and I'm back to hay. This is this is my life. Is how many times am I gonna hay this field? I need to really look at expanding this, guys. I need to make this bigger. But for now, we're going to run the international. We're just going to hay, run, make bales and sell those off. It's a couple grand at least, right? So we'll get back in here. We'll bail this now. And uh, yeah, like, I, I mean, it's not we're not making tons of cash off the hay bales themselves, but it's something. It's a way for us to make a little bit of cash. Now, I think I'm going to have to bail on the bailing, though. I think this is going to be something we're going to move away from. I think this like, it doesn't make sense. Now that we've got chickens, what I really should focus maybe on is using this maybe just to make a little bit extra cash. And once we're ready, we can move away from this and start making like, well, wheat or barley for chicken feed. We could do the chicken feed instead. I don't have to worry about bailing. We can get rid of some, I don't know if we'll get rid of the equipment. It's not worth anything, really. In the grand scheme of things, this is not worth that much money. But we can get rid of this stuff or move away from it and maybe just get to, to wheat and barley now. That's a whole other cost since I don't have any kind of harvester. I, I don't have a planter. I got really nothing going for me on that side. So um, I'm seeing some more contracts potentially in my future, unless somehow these eggs manage to, like what's the market for eggs? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, we got a few bales, not not bad. Hey, maybe, oh, you know what? Our organic farm fresh eggs. I can, I mean, come on. There's gotta be a market. I need, I need, oh, don't tell me you're gonna walk across the road again, please. Thank you. You guys stay there. Um, I mean, we might be able to... Um, I don't know if it's exactly organic, but whatever. We'll just put it on the packaging. All right. Let's sell these bad boys off. Make a few more... You know, come on. Give me some money. Come on. Give me some money. Come on. Give me a little bit of money. Let's just get out of the negatives, please. Thank you. That's all I'm asking. And... Oh, good. We're up to... Yeah, there we go. That's better. We're up to 13,000. Not bad. That's a little bit better. I was expecting to be around 8 to 9, to be honest. 
Perfect. That's feasible. All right, guys. Well, welcome into January. New year is upon us. We're done a, like, a year and a bit now. We've been here for a year and a bit getting this farm up. But you know what we need? We need to figure out what to do with these fields. We need to get this all up. I mean, I've limed everything. The chickens are doing pretty darn good. Let's take a look. What do we got? We're... Is that... I thought it said 5,000. Why am I at 10? Am I at 10,000 chickens? Holy shnikes. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got 10,000 chickens in a pen that's only supposed to hold 5,000. Um, I think we over... We, yeah, we, we put overcrowding on. Oh, no. That's not good at all. That's really not good. <laughs> um, 10,000... 10,000 chickens! Are you freaking kidding me? Guys, I'm getting some garbage. I need some more money. I need to I need to go collect garbage to get some more money so I can figure out what the heck I'm going to do with these chickens and just get my head straight here. I don't know what... I didn't mean to do that. I, I mean, I expected to get, like, maybe up to 5,000, but, I mean, it's only been, like, two months. And I don't know how that happened, but we went from 1,000 to 10,000 chickens in two months. That's a lot of nuggies. I'm going to be eating nuggies for a while here, I think. Um, huh. Oh, well, whatever. We'll keep all this stuff off. Make a little bit more money. Nothing, nothing, nothing great. But, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Um, I've got lots, lots and lots of chickens. Huh. Um, if I can get another, I think it's, if I can get another, like, oh, it's like 150. If we can get another enough money to maybe buy another, can we build another, another chicken coop? Can we do that? If we could make enough money, I can hold on to those chickens and just transfer them over. Things to think about. Let's just toss all these in here again. Man, I, I was not expecting that. Um, it's, I mean, this is a good problem in a way, but at the same time, it's it's bad because the um, the health of those chickens is not great. So I need to I need to get more space in a hurry, and I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Maybe I can just sell those off, but they're not worth anything right now because of their age. They're they're so young. They're just the chicks, and they're not worth anything. Anyways, let's get this all taken care of, and um, I'll see you guys once we get back down to the farm. Oh, I can't believe I did that. How, who who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right, guys. So we're gonna kick the old uh, overcrowding can down the road a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with that yet. I want to deal with these e these eggs right now. I want to see what I've got to figure out if this plan is gonna work or not. We got to figure out if the plan's gonna work. And of course, it's snowing. So I've got the two uh, three months worth of eggs. I guess technically two months, three months of eggs. We're gonna go sell these off at the farmers market. Oh man, these guys are hardcore. Look at this. There's snow everywhere. They're still out here selling. You guys are hardcore, I'm telling you. I like it. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, but guys, listen, you don't need to line up for the truck. I'm going to go... You can go to the table. You guys can go shop some... Get out of here. I mean, just come over here and buy... It. I'm just giving it... I'm selling them to these guy, and then you buy them from him. See how it works? You guys figure this out yet? Come on, man. This is ridiculous, but... um, You know what? Uh, I have to admit, he is offering an awful lot of money for my eggs. You know what? I told them they were organic farm fresh, but holy, I am getting some serious cash from this guy off these eggs. As we're going to get like about $80,000. It's about 80000 bucks we're going to get from the two months, three months of eggs. Yeah, I'm going to take it. All right, guys, another couple months have passed. We're up into March already, and I want to get into these fields. I want to make these fields bigger because I've got, well, it's it's kind of a, a change to the plan. What plan are we on? Are we plan C, B, I don't even know anymore. A bit of a, a change coming to these plans. So we're going to make these fields bigger. I bought the land all around us. we got some trees to go take care of, of course. So, um, yep, that's got to happen, I guess. we got to make some... we got to make a little bit of room to get rid of these trees. Uh oh Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Um, yeah, anyways, we're just going to pile some logs. We'll get the logs later on. I need to make these fields bigger and uh, figure out what we're going to do with these. Come on, just cut. We're going to nice and low. I, wanna, I just want to leave the stump as much as I can for now and we'll we'll come grind these stumps out later on there we go that'll work that'll do that'll do all right let's go so plan c or b we got the chickens the chicken i think have proven themselves guys i think the chickens have proven themselves to be fairly profitable out here so this is what we're gonna do i need to change these fields over so that we're growing feed for the chickens follow me because i don't want to spend all my money on feed, on chicken feed, I don't want to spend my money on that. I got, I got better things to spend my money on. I want to grow, I'll grow wheat, and we'll take the wheat and turn that into feed. We're not going to sell the wheat, most likely, unless, I mean, unless we get extra. But, I mean, primarily focusing on chicken feed. 
Got it. Good. Get some fuel over back. Um, going through a little bit of fuel here, that's for sure. Let's fill this thing on up. There we go. The, the International doesn't have exactly the biggest tank on it. So, oh, don't, don't hit that, though. Uh, let's get back in here now. I'm going to start creating all this whole side here. We got, like, all the way over to those trees we've bought in this property. So, we're going to dig in here and uh, make this into a big field. I'm going to connect everything together. It's going to be... Look at this. It's going to be like our farm centralized in the middle. Right in the middle, you're going to have one little roadway coming in. And you're going to have all our farmlands completely encompassing our farm. And those farmlands, once again, are just going to be chicken feed. <laughs> That's really all I'm going to be doing with them. So if you see big, luscious, golden wheat fields out here, yeah, it's not going to anything but the chickens. So um, they'll, be, they'll make some good nuggies, at least, I'm sure. Let's get on through. The International is doing a great job. Uh, we've got a few hours on this thing already, but you can see like we're starting to get how far we've gone on the far on the far side Now we're on this side and I want to go up front as well in front of the farm I, It's still we need to we need to make some moves up there. It's still I'm not just I haven't decided exactly how high I want to go up the, the roadway kind of messes with it a little bit Let's spin this guy bad boy around up here easy easy. Oh, of course. I always miss just a just a touch Drop her back down go, go forward go 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 there we go. So, we'll get this done and uh, we'll check on the rest. I obviously have a lot of field work to do in here to prep this all up. And uh, we do need to buy some equipment, of course, to plant this. We'll worry about the harvesting situation afterwards. I don't have a combine, of course. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping there's something that comes up on the used market that's going to do what we need to do. It doesn't look like anything yet for the planting solutions. That's something I haven't seen as of yet. Of course, we're also going to need something for weeding. I mean, there's... A lot of equipment, but I mean, we're making decent money with the chickens already, right? Or, I think I think that's a yes, Clutch. I am I am actually pleasantly surprised how much we made from that. And you got to think that started off with just one thousand. Remember, that was just one thousand chickens. Let's go grab the fertilizer here. Let's fertilize this while we're at it. Oh no, you know what? Lime. We'll lime first. We'll lime it up first. Yeah. So we started with the thousand chickens. And you got to think, those are the only chickens that were mature enough to, to, lay the, to lay the eggs. The hens were the only ones that were laying the, the eggs. The 9,000 other chickens we have are just chicks and not putting eggs out, not producing eggs. So if you want to do the math on that, I think it means we've got a lot of freaking eggs coming our way soon. I think it takes, is it two months? I think it takes two months for them to start to mature enough to get the chick, the, the, for the actual eggs to become hens. Nope, that's about it. We're filled with the lime, but... Uh, yeah, we're out once again, of course. Not a surprise. We'll go do some more in the field here. We'll see how far we get. Maybe I don't have to go yet. But hey, we're, if you got to think, guys, we're gonna be we're gonna be making a lot of eggs very soon. Now, like I said, two months I think is when those chickens will start laying eggs themselves. And uh, you know what? Then we can. I think we got enough right now. Maybe we can start selling off some of the chickens. I don't know. We have to go get some lime first, and I need to figure out the uh, the math on. How long it takes for us to get chickens before we can start selling them. All right, guys, let's uh, get into the fertilizing. Liming is done. We'll go through some fertilizer in this as well. Um, minor, minor issue. Um, I can't get my, I can't get my bag high enough. Uh, if I, if I just kind of back into it, will it just kind of load? If I just, let's see here. Let's see if I just back into it. Like, can I just? <laughs> Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's. It's exactly what I wanted to happen, right? Um, come on, get, get, just move it over. It's, it's so close. I just need to get the, the end of it so it's like right over top. Come on, you can do this. There we go. Like a glove. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. You know what? It's, it's not dumb if it works, right? You got to pull it back now so it's just at the right spot and then you're good. That's all it took. See? Best driver in farm sim. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just, just, we'll throw a couple more bags in here as well to fill this thing right up. And let's get into the field. Let's fertilize this thing. Now, I still have that grass field to deal with. Um, we'll have to worry about that at some point. For now, I'm just going to fertilize this and get it prepped. I think... Oh, man, I don't know how much... Like, how much... How much wheat can we get off this field that we've created now? Is this going to be anywhere close enough to feed our chickens? 5,000 chickens. Well, it's technically 10, but it will only be 5. I don't know what to think. I really don't. Um... Yeah, let's tear up this grass field, guys. Let's tear this up and uh, so we can plant. Let's chicken feed. Um, no more. We're, we're going away from the baling. Now, don't worry. We're going to be baling still. It's going to be baling straw just for pure profits, of course, because I really have no use for straw or anything. But we'll bale the straw up just to make the extra cash. 
that does seem like we're going to need we're gonna need some kind of a bail trailer as well i need to save up for that um once again please use market come to my rescue uh pl pretty please use market anyone got a bail trailer for sale i know somebody could use one. Oh boy all right this is uh giving me a little bit of grief it's a bit of a struggle it must be like soggy soil or something but i'm having a bit of a fight right now i don't know what it is i don't know if it's just the grass but i'm definitely had a bit of a struggle we cut on through this we've got more than a few passes left to do on this and then this field should be pretty much good to go i could probably throw some fertilizer down on this as well just to make sure but uh i think i think we're good to go here guys i need to figure out a planting solution right away yeah that's that's next on my radar um we can come up with a solution for planting. That's really what's going to have to happen next. Yeah, short planting season, by the way, as well. I mean, we're up in the mountains. What do you expect? It's a resort area. Come on, man. All right, last couple passes. This trailer, this tractor looks like it's been pretty beat up. Nice work, clutch. Yep. But no, no, no. See, look at I, I bath my stuff. You guys always give me. I did. I'm washing, and I'm even repairing, washing and repairing, and I even put fuel in it as well. Look how good I am, right? Come on. You guys throw me a bone here. Seriously. All right, guys. Well, turns out I made a bit of a boo-boo when it came to the planting. I can't actually plant until the fall. Yeah, that's um, that's on me. My bad. My bad. So we're going to put this all away. I'll see you a little later on this summer. Hopefully, we can just make some money and buy some more feed, I guess. It's my only choice now. I got to buy feed for the rest of the year. See you guys in a bit. Well, guys, we are into June, but with all the profits I've been making off our chickens, I've decided to build a second chicken coop. And um, it's already full. It's got 5,000 chickens in it. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, the amount of money we're making from our eggs. We got 4,000 in this one. We got 5,000. We moved over to the other one. So we've managed to keep the chickens all going. But I've had to buy a lot of feed. And I mean, a lot of feed. Uh, it's costing us uh, roughly $16,000 per trip to go get this feed. And this lasts roughly two months. So take that for what it's worth now i haven't sold any just chickens yet and i want to get the i want to get them all up as healthy as possible so as long as we're feeding them and keeping them well fed they're, they'll get healthy like that's the biggest thing for us but uh yeah we got to make sure they're perfectly well fed and then we can sell these bad boys off look at look at the amount of chickens we've got. um so we do need to sell off a thousand off of this one here so yeah we need to make we need to make some space we need to make a little bit of space in there. We'll sell off a thousand chickens for chicken nuggies. And then we'll wait two months till it replenishes and we'll just, whatever the oldest chickens are, that's the ones we're gonna sell off. So we just gotta figure out which ones are which. And uh, yeah, it, it should be perfect. We've even, look at you, you see the little, the, the barns in there. We've even organized deliveries so people can just come and pick them up right now. We've got a delivery service coming to pick the eggs up every day. Money is flowing in like crazy from these eggs. It is non-stop. I'm, I don't know what to tell you guys. Throughout the summer here, it has been crazy the amount of money we're making off these eggs. I, it, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a job to keep them well fed. Like every, seems like every day we're almost, we're, we're going to go get some wheat. <laughs> we're going through so much of this. Here we go again. Uh, it never seems to end, but the, almost when we sell off the chickens, the thousand chickens, that almost, well, it covers about two thirds of the, the, the cost of feed. So, we sell off a thousand of the the oldest chickens from each one of these uh, chicken coos, and that covers the food almost. It's a little, not quite, just a little less. So that's not bad, really. That's not too bad. So I mean, the, the eggs are pure profit, pretty much, and uh, the eggs we're making a lot of money off the eggs. I don't even, I, I don't even know what it is per day anymore. I've lost track. It's just ridiculous how much we're. I'm just gonna keep trying to keep on top of getting rid of the oldest chickens so that they're always more chickens coming. And eventually we're just gonna have like four or five different age groups of chickens in here and always be able to sell off the oldest ones as we go into the fall here guys it's working out fairly well but i mean yeah it's it ends up being a lot of money we have to spend on food all right it's time to come up with our solution guys so we've been spending roughly forty thousand dollars a month on food no thirty thousand on food twenty thousand we make off just the chickens not the eggs so the, the math is working out pretty good, but it's time to go into fall here and we, we start making some chicken food. So yeah, every month we're out 30,000 bucks. We make roughly 20,000 now. That's what the average out is per month. I think usually every two or three months we end up, but we ended up buying some new equipment so we could do this, guys. We've got a croakerling uh, planter right now. Without a cedar, sorry. Pl croakerling cedar so we can uh, plant some wheat. 
And of course, well, we need some seed. So we've got that as well. And let's not forget the trusty Bobcat for uh, blowing the seed up. That's going to be our solution for that. Let's just see if this is going to work out for us. Hopefully, I mean, I didn't measure. Like, who, who measures this stuff? But hopefully this can reach close enough. Oh, um, can you go a little bit higher? No, nope, that's as high as we can go. You know, if I go from the front, if I go from the front, I can kind of finagle this in. Is is that going to work? Come on, you can, you you know you can, you can do it, right? We just got to push up. Just get it up in the position. Just just kind of a, just a little love tap up there, I, I think is all it'll take, right? Maybe? Oh, yeah, see, look, it worked fine. So it just like I planned it. Just like I planned it. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Perfectly how I planned that to work. All right, we'll grab another couple more of these seeds. It looks like we need another, at least one more in there. And uh, I hopefully got enough seeds. Seeds is fairly inexpensive. I mean, that was only, what, eight grand? So, um, yeah, not bad. Let's go see if I can get this one up top there as well. You know what? Um, I, I kind of regret having the track Bobcat, guys. I kind of wish it was the wheeled one, because I think the wheeled one is technically a little bit higher. And uh, the wheeled one wouldn't have given me as much grief as well on, well, some of the some of the fields. Just saying. Come on, unload. Unload. Thank you. Uh, how close are we? we got to be close. Uh, there we go. Empty. Perfect. All right, guys. Let's uh, go get into the field here and see if we can get this done. All right? Looks pretty close. All right, in we go. Finally, we're, we're planting some crops now. So, wheat's going in here. It's it's a decent-sized field. It's not the biggest thing I've ever planted, of course, but we'll see uh, We'll see where we get with this, guys. I'm curious to see... You know, we, really, we need to start doing some math on this. So, let's just think about how much feed we're actually going to need. Now, I'm going to guesstimate we need roughly 80,000 liters every three months-ish. Something along those lines, maybe a little, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. So, let's just try and figure that one out. So, um, what's what's eight times four? Uh, yeah, that's right. So, like two hundred fifty to. I bet you we're gonna be closer to three hundred thousand liters. We're gonna need of of wheat uh, for our chicken feed. Yeah, that's a lot. Three hundred thousand. Now, I mean, regardless of which, as long as I'm getting, you know, a little bit, if it's supplementing half of half of what I'm plan or half of what I need that's still quite a savings in the grand scheme of things like how much am I spending every year on on seed right now for feed for our chickens if I can get half of that taken off that's a that's a big difference but 200 to 50 to 300,000 liters is what I'm going to require to get through the year I'm going to guess maybe even more than 300 potentially just looking at this field I don't foresee that being nearly enough <laughs> to get through that I mean, you guys can see what we got here. I mean, there's lots of weeds. We're getting rid of the weeds, don't worry. But there's no way. If I get 100 off this, I bet you I would be doing pretty well. Speaking of which, I need a storage solution for this. That's something I need to think about. But we're not going to worry about that until later. Storage solution and, of course, a harvester. The combine and the storage solution together. And maybe some kind of a, a trailer that we can tow and collect this with. But whatever. Not going to worry about that yet. <clears throat> we got lots of money. So there are options available to us right now. It's just, I really would like to figure out how I'm going to feed these chickens. Um, I don't know yet. Yeah, the cost of planting this, I bet you is about $10,000. I bet you it's costing us between the lime, the seed, and the fertilizer about $10,000. But I need about 300,000 liters a yield of of the wheat. And I don't know how, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think I got to spend more money, guys. I think I got to do more fields. So what are we going to do? Well, I think we're going to make some more fields. I mean, the farm's looking good. But you guys remember what I said, I wanted to surround this farm. So if you guys look at the roadways that are all kind of up here on this side, this corner I want to take those areas all out. I want to be all the way up to like those dirt paths that kind of surround the farm. Now the middle, that cement roadway that goes into the farm, that's going to stay the same. And that's going to be our road into the farm. But I think, guys, I think it's time that we, well, knock some trees down and uh, turn the rest of this into fields. Oh, there's a lot of trees to knock down. Okay, it's not that many, but there's some big ones. Boom. My. <laughs> no, man. Um, this is going to be a lot more work to go sell these off. Hey, it's more money, though. I don't need the money just from trees. Just give me the tree, the egg tree money. Is the egg tree money? What What does that mean? Anyways, let's go in there. We're going to disconnect this bad boy. And uh, or reconnect this bad boy, I mean. And let's go back in and tear this all apart again. So... Nothing is is really ready to go yet. Nothing's been planted. I just need to get up there and make this one giant field. I still don't think... I don't think this is going to be enough, but 
you know what? Yeah. I, I dare to dream a little bit that we're going to be close. If I can get even a, like 150 to 200,000 liters of wheat off this size of a field. I have no idea if this is going to be big enough or not. But uh, you know what? We'll, what else can I do? We're going to make this bigger anyways. Might as well start with this. i got to figure out where I want to go next and see if we can get some other land up in this area. You can see there's lots of land all around us. It's fairly flat. There's the one hillside up behind the farm. We're kind of looking up there. A bit of a slope that goes up, uh, up a little bit to a, a small town up there. We could go up in that neck of the woods, but uh, I think for now I'm just going to stay down here on the flatlands. Like working the flatlands a little bit better. And I got to get rid of all these trees still too. I mean, got some logs there to take out at some point, but I'll worry about that later on. So we've got this side of the field. I guess this is technically the west side of the farm. I haven't started the east yet. The east side's going to be a little bit trickier, as you can see. It's not quite as well groomed, I guess, in this section. And especially along the back side there. That's where all the trash was we found. I'm trying to get as close as I can to this roadway. <laughs> uh, don't want to... Don't, don't bust my cultivator. Take her nice and easy, but I want to get as close as I can. Uh, as we use up actual... Like, all the space. No weeds coming in then, right? No weeds. I don't like no weeds. Come on. Get all the way up to the back side. Where's that road? It's got to be up here. There we are. Follow this road all the way back on down. And uh, that is the general size of our field right there, guys. That's that's it. That there is it. So it's already been planted down here. I'm going to try not to till the field up that I already planted. And uh, we're just going to try and make do with what we got now. Of course, we got no electronics on anything I'm dealing with. So it's all it's all by what it looks like. It's, we're just going to guesstimate where we planted from now on. I still got a lime. I want to fertilize all this, of course, as well. And uh, then we'll get to planting. And I, I don't have a lot of time, guys. I really don't have much time. I've really got to force myself to get through this as quick as possible if I want to get wheat planted on here. Otherwise, we're going to have two different um, two different harvest seasons for the same field, and that's just going to mess with me. I don't want that. All right. Last little bit, and uh, I think everything's kind of cleaned up enough. Now I can just kind of go up and down and back and forth as much as I want now. Guys, it's, it's going to be a decent-sized field, but there's no way it's going to be 300,000. Yeah, you can see. There's just no way. Uh, I, know, I mean, 300,000 is, is a decent amount. I mean, it's not. It, this just isn't going to do it, that's for sure. It's still going to be an... You know what? Whatever. Half, half is fine, Club. Half is fine. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. It's just I'd rather have it all. <laughs> rather have it all. I'd rather have more so I could actually do something else with it. Anyways. Let's go throw some lime and fertilizer down. We got that all hooked up. Uh, we've got the fertilizer in here for, or the lime in here for now. And, uh, once again, I've got to try and judge exactly where I planted already. Didn't really think this through, did I? I probably, um, I probably should have thought that through a little bit differently, but whatever. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, didn't, didn't plan this out very well, but do I ever? I mean, I had, I had a plan. This just wasn't it. I, I mean, we're, I, we're on plan E or F by now, let's be honest, guys. Once again, need some more fuel. Fill this bad boy on up, and uh, we also need some fertilizer. Let's uh, let's not leave that close, though. Let's just fill this up first, and then we'll get the fertilizer over on the side here. Make sure this isn't too close to the fuel. No one likes the fuel and the fertilizer mixed together. So there we go, and um, let's now we can at least see where we've kind of been. I don't know. Still got a plant. <laughs> it was not my plan. Definitely not my plan. All right, fertilizing is done, so let's drop the fertilizer spreader right in the shop here. Let's go grab the crockling. We're going to need some more seed in that bad boy, of course. So let's go hook up to this thing. Of course, we need seed. It, that's just how it goes. We've got lots of seed. I went, I was overestimating on the amount of seed I was going to need. or un, Yeah, overestimating, not underestimating. That wouldn't make any sense. Overestimating the amount of seed I was going to need. So we've got lots of seed at least. Uh, lime, I think, is is the one I'm kind of hurting on. You can see I don't have much fertilizer left either, so we're hurting on both of those, but I got lots of seed at least, so that's a good thing. All right, let's get into the field. Uh, you look at these tram lines from uh, from the lime left over on top when we were driving and then fertilizing. It all got to kind of packed down. Uh, it, it's interesting because you get like perfect tram lines throughout the whole field that we just worked on. It's uh, It'll actually kind of help me a little bit because I can kind of see exactly, well, have an idea where I went at least. It's not exact, of course, because it spreads it out another, what is that, like 15 feet. But whatever, at least we kind of have an idea of where I was. So it's, it's kind of like the driver warning lights, right? Like, you see, if you see it and that's the last one, you know, you got to pay attention. Don't want to waste any seed, of course. I mean, we could double plant, but um, I don't think it's going to give us any extra yield on this, unfortunately. Wouldn't that be good? Can we double plant something someday? That'd be nice. 
Love to see some double planting. That'd be great. Last little bit left to do. And uh, yeah, you know what? It's going to be good. I'm excited to see what goes on. But it's time to clean everything up. It's the end of planting season for us. Uh, not until next year, I guess. Now we're just going to have to wait through the winter. Get this all shone up. And then uh, we'll hopefully get to figure out our harvesting solutions come next year. Let's get this back in the shop. Back her in nice and easy like. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Right against that garage. Disconnect this in. Close the door. And um, that sounds like a, a year for me. Oh, wait. I'm going to put the seeds away too, I guess. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Stick these back in the back of the shop, shall we? You know what? There's one other thing that I've been thinking about too. I need to figure this out. We got seeds all over the place. But I'm going to go take care of those logs a little later on as well. Got our lime, our seed away, and then, you know what, I'll get rid of the logs this winter. And, uh, yeah, a little bit extra cash, and we'll be good for the new year. Winter is just around the corner now. Nothing's coming up yet. It's going to be soon, though, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I think we're going to be good. I've already got a plan. I'll show you guys when it's ready, but, I mean, everything's looking pretty good. We're making good money from our eggs and our chickens. Uh, even with the feed, it's all good. It'll make it work, but um, I'll see you guys in a bit when we're ready to spray. Oh, yeah, speaking of, of which, here we go. This is what I just picked up, a new Hardy sprayer. This is going to be for herbicide only. We're only spraying herbicide with this bad boy. This is going to take care of, uh, well, all the weeds we were, were going to be getting on these fields. And they're already starting to come up. It's only October. And, um, yeah, you can see we're getting a little bit of weeds coming up as well. That's perfect. They have germinated. They're up at, like, stage one growth right now. It's going to be perfect for the winter. Even if we get a little bit of frost, they should be hardy enough to handle it. And, uh, yeah, so we'll just fill this bad boy on up. Connect all this up to the International. Not the best tractor for spraying herbicide, I have to admit, uh, being an open station, but hey, what are you going to do? Let's fill this up, shall we? Uh, we've got a couple thousand liters here. We'll put this inside. It's not going to fill it up, I don't think, completely. Um, once again, this was off the used market, so we didn't get... It wasn't such a, such a bad deal. Like, for what I'm going to use it for, especially, but the arms were stuck in this outward position like this. If I unfold them and fold them back up, it's okay, but when I fold it... Uh, See what I mean? It was kind of folding into itself there. It was kind of weird. Anyways, everything else works. But hey, maybe that's why it was on the used market. I don't know. Anyways, it does have precision for our precision uh, spot spraying on it. So it's going to go through very little amount of herbicide. It's going to save us some money in the long run. And it's going to help our field rating, which is fantastic. Because it's going to make us a little bit more... Well, it's not going to make us more money, I guess. Well, why might if we end up using the wheat for something other than our chickens, right? Anyways, let me get through this and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, rolling into November and... Every day it seems like it's the same. I'm out here checking on how much eggs we've got, checking on our chickens to see how they're faring. Making sure I don't got to get rid of any chickens and making sure that uh, the delivery guys are picking up the eggs. And then we've got to go do the second one to the second coup here as well. Like I said, we've got 4,000, 8,000 chickens right now and it goes up to 10,000 at times. Got to make sure we keep the feed up. But it's, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's a bit of a monotonous chore. Every single day, the exact same things. we got to come out here. we got to feed typically. And usually we have to go collect more as well because we're always running out. Like every single second day we're running out. We gotta come up here and buy about $16,000. What is it? Yeah, a little over $16,000 a day. And, um, and then we're just dropping this off into, into each one of these troughs. And it's a several loads. It's not like it's just one load and we're done. Yeah, it's, it's more than one. It's always working and the snow doesn't seem to help us either. It's, yeah, it's just gonna get us in our, in our way. I'm telling you, <laughs> it gets pretty monotonous. So guys, as we get ready to wrap this up for now, we're almost done two years. We've got 1.1 million currently in the bank, but I'm gonna spend all that money right away. These chickens are doing amazing, absolutely amazing, but because I wanna see if I can make enough feed for them so I don't have to pay for feed. But 1.1 million, we'll spend at least three quarters of that, I bet, because I wanna put a silo right here. Right here is where I'm gonna put a silo. You know what, I'm gonna show it to you before we wrap things up here. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna show this with silo I'm gonna build, and we're also gonna get a combine. Yeah, we're going to be ready to go. So if you guys want to see what happens next, you're going to have to check us next time. So make sure you guys subscribe. Drop a like on the way out, of course, as well. So you get to see next time when we get the 7250. Just picked up the 7250. And of course, you can see behind. We've also got that 40-foot Draper header and the AGI, uh, AGI silo system. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss the next video when we get into this. And we're down to 300000 now. Oof. That's a lot of money. Almost a million bucks we spent on those two things. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later on. This is Clutch. Over and out.